Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful night sky cowl. This is a chunky cowl. It has a large opening, so it has a lot of nice drape to it. It's very warm and chunky. And I used a very special yarn, and I'll get to that in just a moment, but it has a lot of texture, and it has like a kind of a dark blue or navy blue background, but it has all these really interesting flecks and kind of threads running through it. And um, this cowl, again, is really warm and chunky and very versatile because of all the little subtle color, it matches a lot of different things. So let's get started. The finished cowl has a circumference of 40 inches all the way around, and then it has a height of 9 inches. So it's a very generously sized cowl. However, it's very customizable. There's no special stitch count when we get started. So you can make this circumference as large or small as you like it to be. Some people like to wear their cowl a little closer up to the neck. Some people like a long infinity scarf. Or you can make it taller. I simply worked mine um, until I ran out of yarn and that gave me the height of nine inches. If you want yours to be extra wide, you can keep working more and more rounds. And um, again, so 40 inch circumference and a nine inch height on that cow. For this project you'll need a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, I would go for one on the larger side just because this is kind of a chunkier yarn that we'll be using. The hook is um, a nine millimeter um, crochet hook and I wanted to just mention as a side note a lot of you have asked this question before this one happens to have an N. It really depends on the manufacturer. Just look for the nine millimeter. Some manufacturers call this an M hook. Some call it an N. Some call it an M slash N. So uh, as long as it's a nine millimeter, you'll be fine. The yarn that I'll be using for this project is called Alchemia by Adriafil. This is a really pretty um, chunky yarn. It's in the super bulky category. And um, it's just shades of navy blue and it has kind of like a rainbow thread going through it. However, if you want to substitute yarn or use a different yarn that you may already have on hand, just look for something that recommends the 9mm end hook on the yarn label. I'm going to be using three balls of this yarn and that equates to 160 yards just if you need to uh, readjust for your particular yarn. So let's get started. Our cow will be worked in the round and we're going to begin by putting a slip knot on our hook. So to make a slip knot, wrap the yarn around your fingers to make a loop, bring the yarn behind the loop, reach in with your hook and bring up a loop and then just tighten. Our cow has a starting chain of 70. So to make a chain, wrap yarn around hook and bring it through the loop. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 66, 67, 68, 69, and 70. Okay, so here's our starting chain. And just as a side note, just try and make this chain loose so it won't draw up on one side. If you're having trouble with um, your chain being too tight, then just go up a crochet hook size just for the chain part and then switch back to the nine millimeter for the rest of the cow. Okay, so what we're gonna do is at the very end of our starting chain, the very first chain we made, the chain farthest from our hook, we're going to join with a slip stitch. So insert the hook into that last chain, the chain farthest from the hook, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through, and then bring it through the loop that's already on your hook. We'll be joining with a slip stitch. We just did a slip sti stitch join, okay? So for round one, this is a super easy pattern, pretty basic stitches, okay? So for round one, we're going to chain two. One and two. And then in each chain all the way around, we're going to work a half double crochet. So wrap yarn around hook, insert it into the chain. Wrap yarn around hook, bring up a loop. Wrap yarn around hook, bring through all three loops on your hook. That's the half double crochet. Okay, so we're just going to work half double crochets in each chain all the way around. Just like that. Okay, I also wanted to mention this tail that we had at the beginning of our project. I'm going to just hold that along the edge as I work, and that will incorporate that tail and you don't have to weave that in at the end of your project. 
so it'll save you a little step. Okay, so we're just working half double crochets in each chain all the way around. I have a separate video on how to work the half double crochet stitch. If you've never worked this stitch before and you want to kind of go off and practice first, um, I'll link up to that video and you can watch how to master that stitch as well. Okay, so I'm just going to keep working half double crochets in each chain all the way around until we get towards the end of this round and then we'll rejoin and I'll show you how to close the round and begin the next round as well. Okay. So again, we're just working half double crochets all the way around. Okay, so we'll rejoin in just a moment at the end of this round and I'll show you how to join. Okay, I'm just coming up to the end of the round here. Again, we just worked a half double crochet in each one of these chains from our starting chain. And then what we're going to do to finish the round is where you begin, where you did that chain two, insert into that, so you have one chain, two chains from the beginning, insert it into that topmost chain and join with a slip stitch to close. So it'll look like that. So this is the beginning of our cowl. You can see it has a nice opening, nice drape. Our cowl doesn't have a specific stitch count. So if you want it to be bigger or if you want it to be more snug around the neck, just make um, more chains for a longer cowl, less chains for a more snug cowl. Okay, so let's begin round two. Round two is going to be worked in treble crochet stitches. So I also have a separate video on this if you've never used this stitch um, or you want to master it or kind of refresh um, if you haven't been crocheting for a while. And I'll link up to that stitch as well. So what we're going to do is chain four. One, two, three, and four. Now in each stitch we're going to work a treble crochet. So wrap yarn around hook. Let me move this back here so you can see it a little bit better. So wrap yarn around hook one, two times like that. Insert the hook into the stitch. Bring up a loop. You should have four loops on the hook. Wrap yarn around hook. Bring it through the first two loops. You'll have three loops on the hook. Wrap yarn around hook, bring through the next two loops. You'll have two loops on the hook. Wrap yarn around hook, bring through the last two loops on the hook. That's the treble crochet stitch. Now as you can see, the stitch is very, very tall, so it's going to give us a little bit of an open drape to our cowl and give us a little bit of a variation and some texture. So we're going to be alternating rounds of half double crochet stitches to give it more of a compact look, kind of an edge and then these open, tall, treble crochet stitches. When you work these tall stitches with a larger hook, it makes everything, um, it makes it almost have like a ladder-like appearance. Okay, so we're just gonna work treble crochet stitches all the way around until we get to the end, and then I'll show you how to join and close this round as well. Okay, whoops, again, I only wrapped once. Wrap one, two times around the hook. Insert it into the stitch, bring up a loop, yarn around hook, bring through the first two loops, yarn around hook, bring through the next two loops, yarn around hook, bring through the last two loops. Just like that. You can already see that open kind of ladder look is starting to appear. And it gives it a really neat appearance, and it's a, still a pretty easy, one of the more basic crochet um, stitches. Okay, so I'm going to keep working treble crochets all the way around my cowl and then we'll rejoin towards the end and I'll show you how to close this round and move on to the next round of the cowl. Okay, I'm just getting that last treble crochet into the last stitch of our round. So we'll be finishing up round two. So where we began with that chain four, that topmost chain, insert your hook in there, yarn around hook, bring it through, and then bring it through the loop already on your hook to close the round. So if we remove our hook, we can see how it looks so far. It has a lot of texture, 
and these tall open stitches are giving it some really nice drape. Okay, so let's begin round three. Now round three is the last round of our pattern sequence, so for the rest of the cow we'll be repeating rounds two, the round we just completed, rounds two and three, two and three, two and three for the rest of the cow. Okay, so to begin round three, we're going to be doing um, something similar to what we did with this first half double crochet round, this very first one we worked into the starting chain. But we're going to be working into the stitches instead of the chains. So go ahead and chain two, one, two, and then in each stitch you're going to work a half double crochet. So it's very similar to this round one, okay? But we're working into the stitches, not the chains. So again, wrap yarn around hook, insert the hook into the stitch, bring up a loop, yarn around hook, bring it through all three loops on the hook, just like that, okay? So we're just going to be doing this all the way around, and then we'll rejoin towards the end of this round and close the round, and then proceed with the rest of our cow. And I just wanted to mention as a side note that I'm almost finished with this ball of yarn. So this is a very fast project. I haven't been showing um, the entire round, each and every stitch I've been doing, but um, because we're just repeating stitches for the entire round. But you can see how quickly we're, we're moving through this yarn. And we've got, because of these taller stitches and chunky yarn, we have a little bit of height already. And we're only on our third round of our project. So these projects make um, really fast um, pieces if you want to wear it right away. Or if you need to whip up a few gifts. Um, this pattern works really well for both of those types of projects. So I'm going to keep working half double crochets in each stitch and then we'll rejoin at the end of the round. I'll show you how to close this round and then how to repeat to finish off your cow. Okay, so we're just coming up to the end of round three, working that last half double crochet in the last stitch of our round. Okay, so then you can just join to close with a slip stitch like we did before. And then round three is complete. So let me remove the hook, and this is what we have so far. It's looking really nice. It has a lot of texture and color, and every yarn will look a little bit different with this pattern, but we have some openness to our um, cowl, so we have a little bit of drape. So to finish your cowl, you're just going to repeat rounds two and three over and over and over until you get to the desired height or you run out of yarn, whatever comes first. So I'm going to keep going with rounds two and three. And then we'll rejoin at the end of the cow, and I'll show you how to finish off the cow and how to weave in the ends and get everything looking nice and neat. Okay, so I'm just finishing up and I worked the last stitch of the last round and I'm just going to join with a slip stitch to close the round. Okay, so I have a little tail left. I use every bit of the yarn. And we just repeated rounds two and three until basically I ran out of yarn. So it's about this wide. It's going to have a very nice drape to it, okay? So if you have any ends besides this one, you can weave those in as well. So I'm just going to thread my tapestry needle. You need to do a fresh cut on the yarn. That's okay too. So just thread your tapestry needle and then go into the inside of the cowl and go in one direction with your tapestry needle. And then you can come back in the other direction to get that end locked into place. And this is a, kind of a novelty yarn, so it has a lot of little bumps and lumps, so it might be kind of hard to pull through. And then you can just trim. So once you're finished weaving in all of the ends, you are finished. And it looks really pretty, it has a lot of really fun texture, and it has a large opening, so it's going to have a nice long drape to it. So that's it. That's how you crochet the Night Sky Cow. Thanks so much for watching, and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest Fiberflux video updates. Thanks again.